I am thinking that Speak Now Taylor's version may well break more records than any of her other re-records have up to this point. And there are a couple reasons that I think this. First of all, Speak Now was less critically popular than Fearless was. And while it is a beloved album, if you look at purely the streaming numbers, the purchases, the data behind this, the OG Red was more successful than Speak Now. Red has also had more staying power than Speak Now. I mentioned this earlier when thinking about why Taylor may have left some debut and Speak Now songs off of the set list. She doesn't own those and she didn't want to rocket them into the top albums. With all of that being said, Speak Now has the opportunity to almost be a new album to a lot of people. They don't remember it as well as they remembered Fearless and Red. And remember, I'm not talking about like the Swifties out there. I'm talking about the casual fandom. So Taylor really has a chance to just completely rebrand this album or like relaunch it to some of those casual fans. Also, just looking at the insane numbers out there right now, the announcement for Speak Now Taylor's version has almost 10 million likes. This is already more than the Midnight's announcement, which was a brand new album. That is insane. This one also kind of blew my mind when I saw it. These are the Spotify streams for the three re-recorded albums of the OG album the day after Taylor re announced that she was re-recording it. Speak Now doesn't just have more streams than the other two, it absolutely crushed them. It appropriately has about three times as many streams as both of the other albums. I do think it's because there were more casual listeners to Fearless OG and Red OG versus a ton of more casual fans haven't listened to Speak Now in forever, heard the Taylor's version announcement, and are going back to stream it. But even that being said, these numbers are absolutely insane. And lastly, with every re-record that Taylor releases, she's learning more about how to make the next one more successful. And we know she's a mastermind. So what do you think? Do you think that Speak Now is going to be the most successful re-record to date? More successful than Fearless, more successful than Red. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.